very on after I started working on it, I had this image in my head of uh, like a knight in shining armor, but inspired by a stormtrooper. And uh, we had been working pretty pretty long days just just uh, trying to to solve the uh, the, the uh, costume of Kylo Ren and. I just thought maybe there was something in it, like like he was the lord of the uh, stormtroopers, and uh, uh, I didn't want to make a silver stormtrooper, but uh, but armor that that uh, looked resembled a stormtrooper, and uh, we had this amazing uh, concept artist named uh, Dermot Power, who I asked, I told him my my the thoughts that were in my head, the images, and he did this amazing illustration, very powerful. JJ loved it, but he uh, he immediately said, "This is this is not Kylo Ren. This is is not something that uh, solves the problems." And uh, you know, I love the drawing, but it doesn't work. Shortly after that, Kathy came uh, into uh, our design room and saw this image hanging on the wall and said, "You know, that's amazing. What is that?" I think after Kathy's reaction, JJ created uh, the part of uh, Phasma. Uh, but then he, he in his brilliance, um, cast uh, Gwendolyn uh, Christie, uh, which, which I thought was such an amazing idea. And um, I think the difference between Star Wars then and now, uh, when that happened, there was no thought in my mind to kind of change the design for a woman. I mean, this was the character, this was the design, this was something that we all loved. And, uh, you know, Gwendolyn wore it beautifully. And uh, I don't think that would have happened uh, in, in uh, the 70s.